when you look into industrial robotics, what you see is that they're all using super expensive, super high-end motors called servo motors. And from what I understand, these servo motors are just brushless motors with encoders integrated into them. And they're generally controlled with some super expensive controller. You know, the kind of stuff that you and I would never be able to afford just for something to play around with. Oscar Wegel, the creator of O-Drive, came up with an idea. What if you made a brushless controller and paired it with a super accurate encoder and just used a cheap hobby brushless motor? Voila, now you have the equivalent of a high-end servo motor. Oh my god, it's finally here, it's finally here, it's finally here. What is this thing? This thing is called O-Drive and it's a dual channel powerhouse designed specifically for robotics. Basically what they've done here is create a really powerful brushless ESC with encoder feedback that also has the ability to be controlled by a serial bus which is super cool and it also allows you to get feedback from this drive so you could tell how much amperage your motor is pulling, you could tell where your motor currently is, you could command your motor to a position, and rather than being in steps, it's in encoder pulses. They made this whole project open source, which gives you the ability to modify the firmware on this board in Python, which is really cool. If only I knew how to use Python. You could do whatever you want, and as a matter of fact, there's even some extra I.O. on here that you could hook up to if you wanted to. So I plan to use this O-Drive board for an upcoming robotics project that I've been working on. It's going to be a six-axis robot that's going to be stupid fast. So I made a quick little demonstration to show you guys how powerful and accurate this is. Um, and hold on, what's inside here is this is a 3D printed enclosure for this motor basically. So this is just your average hobby brushless motor um, inside an enclosure with an encoder mounted on the back. And watch this, if I tap the corner of this on the table. Now, what's happening there is I'm turning the outside of the motor and I'm also rotating the outside of the encoder while the motor shaft is staying in the same place. So the O-Drive detects that, the encoder moved, so then it tries to drive the motor back to where it was, causing the enclosure to turn the other way and the oscillation goes on. Isn't that cool? So the amount of speed and torque that you need to do this is insane. And the amount of accuracy that you need to detect that small of a movement is insane. And not to confuse anyone, I set this up intentionally to show you guys what this can do. It, to me, that, that's blowing my mind. When you're designing a hobby robotic project, the other thing that you have to consider is that stepper motors are also a very practical approach in terms of a robotic powerhouse. But there are some problems with stepper motors. For example, they can be loud. They typically have no feedback and they lose a considerable amount of torque at higher speeds. Usually this caps their useful speed to around 500 RPM, which also limits the amount of gear reduction or speed that you can get out of a final drive. On the other hand, brushless motors are typically really quiet and more importantly have a constant amount of torque throughout their speed ranges, meaning that brushless motors can utilize a much higher gear reduction and thus get much more accuracy, speed, torque, all that good stuff. It's awesome. So O-Drive also has a ton more features such as auxiliary I.O. And for those who are super lazy, you can also configure O-Drive for a step direction mode where O-Drive will work as a direct replacement for an existing stepper motor setup. Pretty cool. Anyways, in my next video, we're going to be doing some testing comparing O-Drive and this uh, O-Drive brushless motor to a NEMA 23 motor. And we're going to be doing some real world torque and speed testing to see how cool this thing really is. So I set this up to be controlled through an Arduino with a uh, USB uh, Bluetooth dongle and serial to O-Drive. And now I should be able to control this with my PlayStation controller. So let's give it a try. It gets all angry with me when I try to lift it off the table.
get the idea. By the way, Marco Reps also has a video about O-Drive and he goes into a lot more detail on the Python side of things. He also sets up this mind-blowing demonstration with it. You should really check that out. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and subscribe. If you have any questions or suggestions for me, leave a comment below. And if you'd like to help my robotics projects reach a broader audience, then hit that like button and share this video with your friends. Hey, thanks for watching.